Showing and extending patterns using tables. Do you like to play with Lego or build things? Have you ever built something out of blocks? Imagine that you had to build a castle that followed a certain pattern, like this. First, build a base in a triangle peak, then add a tower block on each side. This uses four blocks. Next, the towers need to be made as tall as possible and they have to be even. For figure two, let's add a layer to the towers. Two blocks were added, so now we are using six blocks. Add another layer to the tower, which uses two more blocks, so now there are eight blocks. An engineer for a block company needs to keep track of the blocks used for each stage of construction. Then, when kits are created or larger models are made, they will be able to predict how many blocks are needed. How can they keep track? A simple way to keep track of the number of blocks used in each stage of the castle building is to make a tea table. Can you guess why this chart is called a tea table? Part of the table is shaped like the letter T. Look closely at the tea table. Do you see a pattern in how the number of blocks change? Each stage of the castle construction uses two more blocks than the stage before it. You've learned how to state rules for patterns. What is the rule for the pattern in the number of blocks on this table? Start at four, add two each time. Remember, we always put the starting number as well as what happens from there. Without building more layers, the table can be used to tell how many blocks would be needed if the towers were made higher. With towers that are four blocks high, we'd add two to the number of blocks for a total of 10 blocks. For a castle with five block high towers, add two again to the number of blocks for a total of 12 blocks. Based on the pattern rule and the table, we can predict that a castle with towers that are five blocks high would need 12 blocks. A landscape architect was asked how much fencing would be needed for some triangular gardens of different sizes. The architect needed to create a tea table to keep track of the options and wants your help. Follow the steps to create a table. You can do this on a piece of paper as you follow along. On your lined paper, draw a T. Using a ruler is always a good idea. Add the titles figure and perimeter. Put in the figure numbers. There are four triangles, so put in the numbers one to four. Count the perimeter or distance around the first triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put this on the chart. Count the perimeter of the next triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can put this on the chart. The second triangle perimeter is six more than the first. Pause the video and check if this pattern is continued. Do we add six each time? Count the perimeter of triangles three and four to find out. You probably found that the pattern continues. Let's state the pattern rule. We started at six and we add six each time. We can use this rule to fill in the rest of the table. We add six to 12 for 18. We add another six for 24. We can even extend beyond the four triangles that we have pictures of by applying this rule. If there were a fifth triangle that's even larger, we could add six and we would find out it has a perimeter of 30. Now you can show and extend simple patterns using tables. Thank you for watching.